Hello everyone, I'm coming for another video for my um, newsletter, um, but I'm probably going to post this on uh, YouTube as well. Um, this video is to tell you about how I started my running journey. Um, not even intending to do that. <laughs> so here's the story. Um, before I started running in 2009 and I was 44 years old, um, I like to say 44 years young. Um, but who cares, young, old, whatever. <laughs> um, and um, that summer, I went back to France. I felt quite overweight. I didn't feel good in my body. I had a child, uh, my third child, uh, three years before, and it had been a struggle to shake off the, um, the pounds, the baby weight. I had joined a slimming group, um, but it wasn't cutting it too much. And when I went to Paris to see my relatives and my cousins, there was two girls in my family that I had been two cousins that I'd been quite close to. And I, um, they were my zone of comfort in a way because they were a bit plump like me, a bit overweight. And so I felt I wasn't alone. And when I went back, they were both so slim. Both of them had like completely shed the weight, but almost to a point where it was too much. But regardless, there's no judgment here. I was confronted with that, with me still being the old me. And even though I felt this was vain and superficial, and um, I judged myself for feeling that way, I actually felt depressed by the contrast and by constantly being reminded of myself of how much more um, heavy I was compared to what I wanted to be. Um, came back to England after this visit feeling um, really, really bad. Um, and then one night I was just so fed up feeling so horrible about myself. It was really, it was a horrible feeling of avoiding mirrors, of hating every moment of having to dress myself, being conscious of my body, uh, not wanting to, to do any of this. And um, I actually, and I know this is going to sound really weird, but I actually went down on my knees one evening before going to bed and I said, please help me to my angels and guides because I just didn't want to feel that way anymore. And what happened is there wasn't an apparition or anything like that. You know, there wasn't an angel that came and talked to me or did anything. But an incredible shift happened in me and suddenly the next morning when I woke up I wanted to run and I had never had that feeling before. I need to explain to this, uh, this to you very clearly before that that night before that morning I wouldn't even run to catch a train if I was gonna miss it you know if there was a couple of seconds you know when it, you're really tight maybe at a um, what do you say um, connection um, trains Whoever it is, I would just rather miss the train than having to run. I hated it so much. And this was rooted in my childhood. Not that I want to always go back to childhood, but um, in school, we were asked to run on a track, a proper track, and I was always the last one, and people were always making fun of me, and it was this agonizing thing that was happening um, every week for sports lessons, and I just hated it so much. It was just ingrained in me. It was like, don't even ask me to run. And the extraordinary thing as well is that at that time I was, uh, my partner was running. I had um, met um, a new person in my life. He, he was a runner. He'd go running twice a week um, regularly with his brother. That never inspired me. And yet that night after I asked the angels to help me, the next day I woke up wanting to run. It's not even wanting to run. I just couldn't wait to go running. And I was like, what is happening with me? I have no idea what this is, um, but I just went with it because then, of course, my uh, my my ego stepped in and started to tell me this is ridiculous. You're telling that people, your even your partner, that you want to run when you don't even know if you're going to sustain this. You should just shut your mouth and just you know go back to your old self. But I just couldn't. So I went around literally when I woke up. I was so obsessed with this that I ran my entire house finding running shoes, shorts, whatever it was needed. And I remember it being a Friday and on a Friday we would go on a, on a date because neither of us worked at that point and we'd go on a date um, to have some lunch together and everything. And I was like, 
oh, I don't know, I don't know, when am I going to go for this? I really want to go running. And he said to me, um, let's try tomorrow. Um, he didn't want to get stuck into traffic because he had an idea where to take me for running and everything. And he gave me the, the best a piece of advice I ever heard about running is take it slow. Do just five minutes. Don't do any more than that. Um, and so I got ready, I got all my stuff ready. And the next day we took um, the kids to the beach and I had my first run on the promenade and it just it was just amazing uh i had all the gear and everything but i felt like such a fraud i looked at myself and i was like god my woman why are you doing this you've never run in your life you never wanted to run and now you're running and you're saying that you're running and you don't even know if you're gonna last 30 seconds but i went with it i followed the inspiration and what happened is i went for this uh five minute run and i i was hit by the hunters runners um, high I think it's called so after five minutes I felt so good I wanted to do more but I remembered what my partner said so I kept it to 10 minutes for my first run and when I was finished not only did I feel um, incredible I just couldn't wait to go for my next run and so that month that was um, mid September 20 um, 2009 sorry uh, I ran for a whole month I built up my running from uh, 10 minutes twice a week to uh, 50 minutes twice a week with no effort at all it was just pure joy the only problem I encountered is that I had the wrong shoes for running and I didn't know anything about running so I ended up with black toes but then um, a very uh, lovely friend of mine who was a personal trainer um, took me to a specialist shop got the right shoes and never had that problem again but this is all to say that even though that might seem really weird um, our guides and angels can actually help us with our physicality. They can actually help us to change our frame of mind and to make things a lot easier. And I have actually continued running and I'm now nine years into it. I'm, I only quit running when I was pregnant. And even because um, I got pregnant again one more time, I have a fourth um, beautiful child. And um, I had to stop running whilst I was pregnant more because I was getting some bleeding and I didn't want to risk anything um, but if I had been in the right shape I would have continued running whilst I was pregnant honest uh, that was really my intent to start with but then you have to um, measure things and, and see if that's for the best interest of you and your baby and it wasn't so um, I hope this is, um, story will inspire you um, to maybe ask if you're at the point like me where you're despairing where you don't know how to do anything different maybe ask the universe i don't you don't even need to believe in angels to ask for their help i'm inviting you to do this because you never know what's going to happen and if you're really open to receive this was the miracle for me the miracle was a shift in the way i looked at things with the shift in how i felt about running and it's never changed ever since um so this is my invitation today is to try something a bit different um, I know when I wrote the book, because I wrote my book, The Journey of the Simpson, at the same time that I started running, I felt like a fraud. I felt like I had nothing to say. And I have also felt that why would angels care about slimming? And I've had quite a few aha moments in the past few weeks about this. I'm not going to share it in this video because I want to keep it short and sweet but actually they have everything to do with slimming and now i totally honor that um so yeah that was my video for you today i hope you enjoy it i'd love to have your comments please hit the uh, reply button if you're receiving this in my newsletter but if you're on youtube you can always come to my page which is called i can help you thrive on facebook and leave a comment or um, message me uh, there's a message button on my page if you want to reach out and talk to me but the best way to do that really would be to go and download my book. Um, there's multiple posts on my um, my Facebook page where you can download my paperback, the one that um, signed me my first agent. It's not one of those eBooks that has 10 pages and everything. It's a proper book that I wrote in 2009 and I'm writing the sequel at the moment, The Pleasure Diet, which I'm super excited about. So thank you for listening. I would welcome your feedback or even your stories. Please send me your stories of if you've asked the help of your guides and angels, even if you don't truly believe in guides and you're not quite convinced, do it as an experiment. This is what I did and I was blown away by the results. 
Thank you and bye for, for now.